Hi, my name is Turk Cuttington. I'm the Eastern Regional Sales Manager for American Dynamics. Thank you for joining us. Today we're going to walk you through one of the many features of our newest product, the Victor Unified Client. Victor is a unified video management system that allows users to view analog video, IP video, all through one user interface. Dave Jackson, Product Manager for Victor and Video Edge, is going to show you the Smart Search feature of Victor. Smart Search allows a user to quickly and easily review video and search for specific events that took place after they've been recorded. Let's face it, nobody's really sure what they're going to want to look for until after the event happens. I'm going to be showing you a demo of the Victor Video Edge motion based search. Let's begin by going through the Search and Retrieve tool, which can be accessed from the button in the top menu bar. This tool allows you to do a date and time search or a motion based search, which you can select in the search configuration menu. After choosing the type of search, you can identify which recorder or camera you would like to search through. This past weekend, we had a report of a laptop computer being stolen from the application engineering lab. We think it was taken from a side table in the lab, so let's select the lab camera to do the initial search. We know the theft occurred over the weekend, so we can define the time and date. We can start the search on Friday at 5.30 in the afternoon and end on Monday morning at 9.25 when the theft was reported. So we're going to search roughly three days worth of video footage. The individual thought they had left the laptop on a side table. So in the motion filter option tab, we can use the clipping tool and define a rectangular shape in the area to focus the search. We then click the finish button to begin the search. Okay, we just searched about three days worth of video in about four seconds and we're provided with a list of results. We can now look at each of the results in the list provided to pinpoint when the laptop disappeared. The first result appears to be the cleaning crew coming through, so that's not what we're looking for. Oh, the second clip shows the laptop computer on the side table. Alright, so in the third result, it looks like shortly after the laptop was left on the side table, the perpetrator grabbed the computer. We're now going to engage the investigator mode, which will allow us to time sync multiple cameras to the incident. When we're in investigator mode, we are provided with a list of other recorders and cameras which we can select from to track the path the perpetrator took after the incident. We'll pull in a couple of hallway cameras from an NVR unit. Then we'll add two more cameras from an Intellex unit, which are focused on doorways. And finally, we'll select another camera from a third unit. We can now view all of these camera perspectives together. They're anchored off of the search results we have in the upper left hand corner and now we're going to review all of these video clips together. As the individual is taking the computer in the image in the top left corner, you'll also notice that we can see him in the video in the bottom right hand corner through a small window in the door. As the individual moves into the video shot, we can pause the video and zoom into the shot to take a better look. Now let's see if we can identify where the perpetrator exited the building. Oh, he's walking out the lab and then out the back door. The motion-based search made it very easy to identify when and where someone had stolen a laptop computer. We were able to follow them across multiple recorders and camera views as they exited the building. To learn more about Victor, please visit the American Dynamics website.